everybody, welcome back to Lift Vector. I'm at the flying field today with the FT Storch. I've been waiting a long time to show you guys this build. It's just a fun FT Simple Storch. Uh, this is the plane I learned how to fly fixed wing on. Not this one, this is the second FT Storch I built. The first one I retired and I built a second one because it's just a fun plane to have around in the hangar. But look at these massive wheels. 3D printed out of TPU with lightweight PLA for the center hubs. The uh, wing has some wing guards for the rubber bands so they don't dig into the front of the wing. And on the back here, it's probably a little overkill, <laughs> but it's like a brace because this, this um, foam can bend up. It's just one thin piece of foam and I, I bent it up when the, when the wing moves forward on crashes it pushes back and then it can flex and cause creases. I also added a tailwheel assembly for steering on the ground. That's 3D printed. It's just a little slap-on adapter kind of. A little 3D printed wheel back there as well. I made little TPU knobs to help the rubber band stay put on the dowels. And uh, little 3D printed decals. The black stripes are vinyl tape. And she has a 3530 1100 kV motor with a 10 by 6 E prop. And it runs really well with this combination. So 30, 30 amp ESC and my, my trusty Spectrum AR610 receiver, old school receiver. And just six blue servos. And I got uh, we got flaps and crow set up on this thing. Yeah, we're gonna fly her around today. I'm gonna convince you guys why you should build an FT Storch. If you wanna learn how to fly fixed wing, definitely consider building a flight test Storch. The plans are free online. The video is a lot of fun to watch. The build isn't that complicated. You know, it's a pretty straightforward build. So if you plan on building one of these, or if you have one already, there's a G drive link in the description if anybody wants these 3D printed parts I designed. Just please use them for personal use only. Have fun upgrading your FT Storch with these 3D printed parts. It adds a little weight, but it's kind of fun, so. All right, well, the wind is variable. It's kind of coming from the east right now. Nice day to fly, nice fall day. Well, it's time to get this puppy up in the air. Yeah, let's look at her. Let's check her out. So I got uh, low my low rates here, and then Five. high rates, medium rates. Medium rates. Flap. Down. Got my flaps. Flap. Up. I even got crow. Flap. Down. Crow and flaps. Flap. But I usually just run it in low rates. She's kind of a, she's kind of a cruiser. But uh, it's looking good. Let's let's get her up. Down. All right, we're gonna do some flap flaps takeoff, and she's gonna get right up. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to fly slow. I just got to watch the wind. Let's bring her back in. So, yeah, let's not hit my camera today. Wind is kind of settling a little bit. Let's do a little touch and go here. <laughs> More of a landing, I guess. <laughs> bring her around. One thing I like to do is, uh, I run it a little nose heavy. I just kick her around. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> that wheel was kind of tweaking. Let's do a stall takeoff here. Oh yeah. I gotta watch turning on the downwind. It can bite me. Let's do a little low pass here. Flaps. Let's do a flaps pass. Little touch here. There we go. Yeah, she's not, you know, with the 1100 kV motor, you know, that's full speed. She does pitch up on throttle. I haven't added a mix yet. But, uh, sorry about the watch. Whoops. Whoa, almost ground looped it. I feel like, I guess I am in low rates. All right, let's, uh, Coming for a quick landing here. Crow, Crow and flaps. Crow. Oh, oh, geez. Yeah, she like drops like a rock. Whoops. <laughs> and we're up. Yeah, she may look a little crooked uh, on the tail. I think I got didn't really line up the glue very well. Kind of dancing with the rudder there. Well, yeah, I mean, this plane is perfect for learning how to fly fixed wing. Like I said before, this is the second storch I've built, but I learned to fly on a storch. Kind of stabbing that rudder a bit to the left. can hear the wheels spinning. All right, let's bring her in for a landing. Flaps down. down. And just kind of settle her in. I think the wheels, it's, the wheels really make it hard to do a three-point landing with this thing for some reason. And because it's nose heavy. Let's see here. Let's do. See, it's just the wheels just kind of plop down in. Let's see if we can get a take off on the camera. Oh. Well, we're off roading here. Trying to get back on the runway. All right. Flaps down. Get the tail up. Oh yeah. Flaps up. I mean, it's not the lightest storch in the world because of the wheels and all the 3D printed parts. So I do got to watch out on uh, the stalls here. Let's do a little grass landing. Very nice. Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about with this plane? Well, I have 385 minutes on this plane. You know, the timer is on my, my arm switch. So I would say it's, you know, how long is that? I don't know, I'd have to do the math. I'll put it up on screen. I'm gonna try to, let's do a takeoff. I'm gonna like try to run with the plane, try to get some closer footage with the GoPro. All right, flaps down. Flaps, 
flaps up into the wind and then when I'm turning I'm going to throttle throttle quite a bit get that keep keep that airspeed throttle up and kick her around see if we can kind of just float on the runway here uh oh <laughs> whoops yeah let's uh let's bring her in I think we've proved the point that this plane is fun. Flaps down. Flight mode launch. Flaps down. Definitely uh, consider building one of these if you want to learn how to fly. You know, you crash it, you know, I've crashed it. She's got wrinkles on the wings. She's got some damage on the underside from the landing gear getting blown out. But uh, it's easy to repair and takes a lick and keeps on ticking. Well, there it is, the flight test storch. Just a little simple flight, just ripping around, doing some landings and takeoffs. Um, give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'll be trying to upload some as soon as I can. The weather is changing and it's getting a little colder, but I'm going to do my best to keep putting out some more videos. Thanks, everybody.